Uh, we're here with Sam from Indicade. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what this whole thing is and why it's in between, you know, like the Ubisoft booth and the Alienware booth, you have all these indie games. Like, what's the story here? Yeah, so we're Indiecade. We're the International Festival of Play and of Independent Games. Um, we've been around for 10 years. Um, our focus as a festival is on bringing awareness and highlighting and helping share with the public innovation and diversity in games. We're the place where you can find innovation, where you can find artistry, where you can find the new, interesting, niche, crazy stuff that you might actually like have your grandmother play. Um, that's, that's what's here in Indiecade, and that's why we're here. And I, I noticed, uh, like you said, you want to accept everything and not have any kind of like prescribed notion of uh, how the game should be or how it should be controlled. And uh, so I've been looking around and I see a lot of games that are controlled just with your hands and the camera. You've got this big magic dance mirror over here, uh, this Octobo thing, which is really cool. Like definitely for like an uh, interesting crossover between the digital and the, the sort of real world. Yeah. I think, is that like a theme this year or like just so, uh, coming up? It's been a growing theme to me that I've seen over the past, I'd say, three to four years. And I actually think it's, when you talk about future trends that are really burgeoning, uh, mixed digital physical play is really big. And people like connecting in person. People like the social aspects of games. If you look at games for the 3,000 years before 1964, they were played with people out in real space, right? Yeah, my name is Daniel, and I'm one of the developers uh, on this game that we call Clapper. And Clapper is a rhythm and clap game most easily visualized as a mix between uh, traditional hand clapping games that kids play and uh, rhythm games like Guitar Hero. I saw people over here playing Patty Cake and I was like, are they just doing that for fun or is this actually the game? But you guys actually use the front camera on the iPad to detect the claps and like which direction they're going and stuff, right? Yeah, that's actually what makes this game really cool. It's that it can uh, differentiate between five different types of claps. So you can do straight claps. Yeah, and diagonal clap, the side clap, double clap. And so, hello, my name is Yu Ting Su. I am the creator of Octobo. Octobo is a reactive plush that um, is actually a mobile game, but the controller is the plush. So, like, parents will put in this like mobile uh, tablet on Octobo, and it comes with a storybook. So, on every page, there's like different kind of interactions you can do with Octobo such as like hug him, like shake his hand, or like beat him like story tokens from the book. Um, the first uh, package will be Octobo and the book, but we're treating Octobo as a platform. So we have like one book to start, but then we'll have like book two, book three. And because we have uh, running this game on the tablet, so it's very easy for us to keep like updating contents or add in more apps. So, uh, my name is Brandon Williams. I'm the CTO of uh, Prism Labs. We have here the Play Table. It's the world's first board game console where you're able to play all your traditional games that you may have grown up with, like a Monopoly or a Risk, and all the new Euro titles like Settlers of Catan, Pandemic, Coup Resistance, those type of games. But it's actually like a digital, too. It's like a, like a giant tablet here. Exactly. It's uh, all your digital board, all your board games in a digital format on a digital canvas. So you're able to play with physical pieces as well as physical cards, and they actually spawn animations and sound and come to life. Uh, you're also able to play with a mobile device as your private hand information. Yeah, and this is also it's a nice way to sort of bridge the analog and digital thing, where it's like kids who are so used to just tapping an iPad screen now they're like, oh well, I can actually you know put a guy on the screen and have that have an effect. Exactly. There's something very visceral about being able to take a physical object, place it on a screen, and having something happen.